Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome to this new Let's Play of Master of Orion, and this is the fairly recent remake. Uh, I haven't really played this game since it hit early release, that's probably like a year and a half ago or something like that. So I wanted to give it a go and see what how what things have changed and what haven't. And if my voice sounds a bit raspy and if I suddenly start coughing, I do apologize, I'm fighting a bit of a cold, so... Fair warning on that. We're gonna start a new game then. Hailing from the cloudy planet Altair, the proud Alkari are an old race of avian hominids. Go, Michael Dorn. Although well known for their peaceful disposition, they are mm. fierce in combat. I think we're gonna play the Bullerathi. The harsh Ursa system is home. I, I wish I could like mute Michael Dorn at that point, but I couldn't. So we'll just go in. The Bullerathi tend to be about um, ground combat, at least they were in the Master Hand 2, which is pretty much what this game is based upon. It has taken much of its uh, inspiration from Monster Ryan 2, rather than the first and third in the series. Um, which is both good and bad. We shall see how that pans out. At any rate, the Bulgarathi are, in this game, ecologist. So, yeah, we start with biology, that's fair enough. We have a mineral-rich home planet, which is great. Uh, we have a large home planet, which means more population, which is also good. We're a high-gravity species, which is kind of bad, to be honest. You're gonna have a malice on settling normal planets. And we are good at ground combat, pretty much. So that's what we're about. Crazy little bears. Uh, as for the starting, starting stuff, I think we're gonna leave them pretty much at default. We're gonna go with the spiral galaxy. Though the galaxy isn't really gonna be spiral, but we're gonna see that in a moment. Uh, random seed, we're just gonna do a couple of those. There, there we go. 33,089, that's going to be our seed. This option, this is one of the things that was my most favorite thing in Master Orion 2, to be honest. The option to go end up to, into a pre-warp starting age, which basically meant you had to research techs in order to even build your first spaceships. And that gave a huge advantage to one of the species, namely the Trilarians, who could send out ships without engines. <laughs> that was really cool. That, but uh, so they, they've included this here as well. I haven't really played around with it a lot, but though, but yeah, we're gonna leave it as it says, I think. Then in we go. And Michael Dorn will present our species. They played a, paid a lot for good voice actors in this game, which is kind of sad because they gave them so cheesy lines in most cases. They made all the uh, aliens into caricatures, uh, all the species, and that's that really annoyed me when I, the game hit earlier release. And that's something they can't have changed. There we go. But at least we'll get their intro. Devoted for millennia to the conservation of their home planet Ursa, the hulking Balrathi are a fierce kin. The will of the spirits is revealed to them through the Hag, an elder shamanic guide who speaks for all living things. She has now called on the Emperor of the Bulrathi to take this message beyond Ursa to ensure the survival of the wilds and put the whole galaxy under their protection by any means necessary. Basically, we're playing, playing Greenpeace, I suppose. <laughs> uh, how to protect the wilds. Uh, we'll see. Um, one thing they have done, and I noticed this, I've started a few games of this already, a few test games. And one thing they've certainly done is to balance the starts. You always start with your home planet, and then either an asteroid belt or a gas giant in your starting in your starting system. That's it. Uh, uh, but what you find beyond that is kind of random. So we'll st we start out here, sort of at the edge. Uh, they usually cut up the galaxy in like four quadrants or so which are uh, divided by what we start right next to, a red star lane. We can't go through those until we get better engines, I believe. So we're kind of in a dead end, which is bad. Which is really bad, now that I think about it. But at least that means we can send our entire fleet into this system. Because there's not going to be a, any risk from any other side. Uh, you're gonna go here. The frigate is gonna go there. 
and the colony ship can pop over to the asteroid belt and explore it. Right there. Uh, why can't I click on it? There's a prime in asteroid belt. No, okay, fair enough. That's not selectable because I can't really do anything. And honor. What new trick should the scrutineers scrounge up? And this is one of the reasons I chose to bullet out to be honest, because I don't I, I find I find this guy tolerable compared to quite a few of the other advisors that the game get, that they've made. The might of the Bulrathi prevails. Because he at least doesn't feel quite so uh, what what's the what's the what, so henchmeny, <laughs> if that's even a word. The others are they feel a hell of a lot more like kiss ups, and that really annoys me. So we're gonna switch over to the build queue, so I can actually build multiple things. We're gonna build two scouts, I think, because we always lose scouts when uh, in the initial phase. I better click two. Come on, it's another one into the queue, but now I have to. Drag and drop it, there we go. So we start on a rich planet, which means we're going to produce faster than most other species. And that's good. Production is king in all these kinds of empire builders. Always. Oh, we can move our colony ship this way. We're not going to find anything better. On the other side, obviously, since it's the red star lane. Uh, do we have any options on this side? Thank goodness. I was starting to wonder if there weren't any starlings on this side either. Uh, yeah, pop out and check these systems. That's fine. And we already have some pirates. And that means that the frigate should probably just go straight for that warp place. We found... Oh! Oh my. That's pretty good. This planet here. A medium size, but it's a swarm planet, which is good. It's ultra rich and it's high gravity. I don't think we're gonna find anything better. Truth be told. Uh, right, we built another scout. Um, send it here for now. Now, one of the balance, as far as I could tell, is that all alien empires are going to have a space pirate base nearby that targets only them. And that seems to be ours. So hopefully our ship swoops over there. And kabooms those guys. Kaboom. Victory. What else did you find here? You found a medium Terran abundant. Oh my. That's also a pretty good planet, but I think we're going to go with this one first anyway. Given that this has high gravity, which is a fairly rare thing. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that and then we'll just build a colony base and settle this one later. Uh oh, yeah, alright, that's the pirate base, most likely. Fair enough. Uh, we don't see if these have further star lanes just yet. Oh, well, they do. Okay, let's see now. The fleet needs orders. Yeah, you can move through here, I guess. The frigate will have to scout out this system. You're moving there. Fleet needs orders. Right, we have a scout here too. Um, go down this way. Gonna gamble that this one branches out. And we have a new scout back at home. That's gonna go through to here. Uh, normally we would try to like find uh, the one alien we're boxed in with. I mean, we start, as I mentioned before, in a certain quadrant blocked by these red star lanes. And most likely we're trapped with one other uh, empire. So we kind of want to find them and destroy them if possible. 
But yeah, we're gonna settle Profugus 3 here. I don't think we're gonna find much better op options. Again, as the Ursa, as, as the Bullrathi, we really want to find the high gravity planets like Ursa. And this was that, so we shall see. We're not going to plant anything in the construction queue just yet. Uh, we have to. Okay. Even though we have no production, we'll still have to add something. Ugh. Grumble. Okay, fair enough. Uh, start with the marine barracks. I'm going to switch that out to the auto factory as soon as the research finishes, though. Which shouldn't be too far off. Oh, I didn't move my... Darn, I forget. Medium ocean, that's pretty good as well. Uh. And a gas giant. Okay, fair enough. Now I'm going to go and... Just guard this one and blow up every fleet that's ever built there. Over here we found... A radiated planet. Ugh. Not good. Now these pirates are kind of pesky. And if we're really lucky, the AI Empire will get, have an encounter where their colony ship is blown up by the space pirates. It's possible. We've seen it happen. A new trick. Thanks to our scrutineers. The AI hasn't been taught to guard their settlers or colony ships. Well, that's commonplace, I suppose. But at any rate, we have our factories. Let's upgrade all our blueprints. There you go. Didn't I hit the... Oh, we only had one. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, da, 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 done. Our pride and honor. Research what lab, I think we're going to go for that next. Be the head. And uh, we're immediately going to switch around some production queues. I think we're still going to finish the space factory. But before we build the colony ship, we want our auto factory. And uh, we're going to switch this one out to an auto factory as well. If I could. There we go. And we switch them around like so. And it costs 400 credits to buy. And we're nowhere near that, so... Pirate base. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's what seems fine. And I'm looking at the system names because one thing they will reveal is if there is a uh, another empire. Because the starting system will always be in the same thing for all the empires. So we find, if we find, say, Fieras, we know that the Mershan are over there. That sort of thing. If we find Sol, we know we found the humans. And so on. We could luck out and not find anyone, of course. It is possible. Hauster has nothing. That's kind of sad. Uh, is that a red starting? It is not. Uh, this one could lead to that star up there. Unlikely, though. And if this has been a, had been a, a uh, another empire, we probably would have, met, would have met them already. I want you to go on this way, and you can go and explore this system. That's not too bad of a planet. Small desert planet. Still no sighting of aliens. Let's see. On here, this one, Ernar, is just another empty system. Red star lanes there. Huh. Okay, so it doesn't look like we'll have many options for blocking the other empire. If anything, they could have blocked us easily by the looks of things. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. 
Long-range scanners have detected a gigantic space amoeba lurking in a previously unexplored sector of space. That's another thing they, they turn into comic relief, the whole Galactic News Network. Honestly, yeah, again, they... Oh my. Well, there it is, the space amoeba. That means that my scouts are gonna get blown up. <laughs> uh, nothing's gonna get through this system, basically. Which is both good and bad, because this... That means that if we start near another empire, they can't get through here. Which means all these stars are gonna be ours. But it's gonna be a way through on this side, I guess. Hmm. We shall see. At any rate, we have a space factory. So we're gonna go and start building things. And we have two choices, and then there's basically the same options on all. Uh, all types, really. On both on the asteroid belts and the gas giants. Let's see... Or am I mistaken? I thought gas giants also had some kind of research station. Maybe I'm mistaken. At any rate, we are probably gonna stick with credits. Oh, they do have differences. I thought they were all the same, but they're not, actually. You get more credits from a gas giant harvesting facility. And it's cheaper to build. Interesting, didn't notice that before. Uh, we could add research. Plus two research isn't all that much in the long term, I suppose. But right now it's... It is quite substantial. I mean, we make seven research in total. So now the plus two is a fair size increase. Still, I'm gonna go with the asteroid mine. I want my monies. Uh, were there any... Yeah, there's an asteroid system down there as well, so we'll have more stuff to build. Uh, right, we're building the auto factory. Found Nobi. Right, this is Nobi. Uh, so we know there are two warp points there. Oh, they moved. So most likely the other empire is on the other side here. They could just got blown up, I suspect. Okay, and something's hiding there. I think that is an Antaran thingy bob. I don't think anyone's settling an asteroid at this point. And I don't think there's going to be more space pirates on our half of the uh, map. But the way they're moving around, it's kind of annoying. Okay, the space pirates built another fleet. We're going to blow them up. Kaboom. We need to get a destroyer in order to de destroy the space base there. We need some capacity to actually bombard them. That's gonna take a while. We found Misha. Over there. So our scout arrived. Uh, we're gonna try to leave. I don't know if we're gonna succeed with that. Most likely this, the um, amoeba will float over and blow, blow us to bits. No, it didn't. Excellent, we got out, got out of there. We found dolls. Okay. We could try to scout these planets as well, but then the amoeba will most likely just swoop over and blow us up. So I don't, I'm trying to avoid that for the time being. We found our new We've tech. Learned a new trick, thanks to our scrutineers. Well, that's great. Thanks to the scrutineers. Uh, we are going to go with engineering, I think, so we can actually build destroyers. And you're just gonna go back on guarding duty. Mm, we found something else there, okay, fair enough. 
Again, I think that's just an Antran ruin or something. We'll find out. System of Romulus. System of Lir. Okay, neither of those should be other empires. They would have uh, shown up with signals or something already, I suspect. I wonder, what if the other empire is trapped behind this amoeba? That would be kind of cool. Uh, I want you to explore this system. That's the That system and this one is probably connected. Well, not soon enough. Dolts Prime. I'm really surprised at the lack of other empires here. Okay, there's another red star lane. I suspect at this point that they must be blocked by this guy. And be, that, they're, that they're being blown up or something. Since we don't see them. I will know eventually. I can't queue up new movement orders, which is really annoying. Especially when it comes to scouting out maps. This is GNN, Galactic News Network. The Little Fluffy Empire has discovered the remains of a long-lost Orion facility. Whether this was an advanced research facility or a particularly well-built hotel and casino, it is too early to tell. Okay, fair enough. So we found a ruin. An Orion ruin, okay. Uh... No, Antaran it says here, they meant, uh, okay, the Jinan guy said Orion Ruin, but this is, says Antaran. So, yeah, well, no matter. We can't really do anything about it until we actually control the system, and that's not going to happen for a very long time. And there's probably a similar thing here. We shall see. Oh, that sound. Population has grown sound. Uh, let's see. We also finished the auto factory. Uh, do I want to move you into production and just finish the ship faster? I think I do, because you're going to eat one population anyway once you're built. Okay, very large planet there. And still no sight of uh, another another empire, which is really surprising. If we have this entire quadrant for ourselves, that would be fantastic, but I don't think we're quite that lucky. Uh, Malacast, okay. We finished our uh, asteroid mine, you're gonna go down here. Uh, we could block the warp lane up here, but it's, there's no need for it just yet. Nobody's gonna go through the war red warp lanes for quite some time. Ooh! That's a rather nice planet. So Lear is a dead end system, though. Uh, we'll go down this way. Uh, Malakout. Okay. One thing we haven't found would be anomalies, which is kind of surprising. Normally those pop up all over the place, but I haven't seen any of those. And speaking of, all of a sudden we get an, an anomaly. <laughs> Complain about it and it will show up. Remember, let's go and pop it. If we're really lucky, it's going to be a destroyer. That's about the best option we could possibly get. Because then we can nuke the uh, pirate base up here right away. Which would be fantastic. Be very surprised if we were, if we were that lucky though. Still, so far we haven't seen the other empires. But, ah, really starting to wonder now. You come across the broken remains of an unbelievably advanced alien research facility. 
Only one of its consoles seems to be in working order. It takes some of your brightest scientists to decipher a small amount of the data from within it, but it is enough to spearhead a new technological breakthrough. Okay, fair enough. So I got a free tech. Class one shield. That old ruin still held some wisdom. We should pay our respects to the long departed. Ah, which is. We've learned a new trick. Thanks to our scrutineers. Yeah, and we also finished destroyed at the same time. Okay, fair enough. Let's update all our blueprints. Uh, but... Yeah, we also included the class 1 shield. Fair enough. But, our does that mean... And did you actually research the tech, or did you research the partial tech? Let's see, class 1 shield, where the heck are you? It's here. So we have this tech. We can still research the field, which means we can research the other option. Because they, they've done that. It's... A, tech tree is a bit of a hybrid compared to, say, Monster Island 2. You had... Uh, some techs that you are guaranteed to get, and then you have to choose from the other two rather than the Master and 2 model of choosing one of three options at all, po all points. Though you have some of those triplicate choices as well. Still, we'll get to that. Uh, next level, we're gonna go with Advanced Fusion, I think. We want the engines so you can get somewhere faster. And we shall see. Now at least we have the tech to build a destroyer, so we can deal with these guys. Uh, we're not going to do that just yet, though. We need to finish our uh, colony ship first and take it from there. For now, though, it is time for a short break. We'll see if we can find some friends out here. Or, in the, if indeed, all these stars are going to be ours. Time will tell. Time for a break. Thank you for watching. <laughs> 